Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the remainder theorem. So throughout this video, you will see that long division and synthetic division are linked with remainder theorem. The main purpose of the remainder theorem is to give us the direct answer when we are trying to get the remainder of a given division of polynomials. While in synthetic division or long division, you will go through the main process of doing it. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is the first problem about remainder theorem. Okay guys, so I have here, find the remainder of x to the fourth power plus 7x cubed plus 5x squared minus 4x plus 15 divided by x plus 2. So in this example, let us try using synthetic division in finding the remainder and later on I will show you how to use the remainder theorem. So let's start with the synthetic division. I will just show you guys. Synthetic division. Okay. Now for synthetic division, what we need to do is to equate first this one into x plus 2 is equal to 0 and we will transpose this to the other side it will become x is equal to negative 2 this is the number that we are going to use here so we will put negative 2 here okay negative 2 and what will happen is that we will get the coefficients of this of this uh, of the terms of this polynomial so here, in the x to the 4th power, yung coefficient natin is 1. Here, the coefficient is 7. Here, the coefficient is 5. Here, the coefficient is negative 4. And the other coefficient or the constant is 15. Now, what we need to do is to perform this. Okay? Bring down 1. Then multiply it by negative 2. Negative 1, a uh, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Then add these numbers. 7 plus negative 2, the answer is 5. Then multiply it again here. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Add these numbers, 5 plus negative 10. This is definitely negative 5. Then multiply it again, negative 5 times negative 2 is positive 10 or 10. Negative 4 plus 10 is equal to 6. Lastly, 6 times negative 2, that is negative 12. And then if we're going to add them, 15 plus negative 2, the answer is 3. This 3 right here is your remainder. Remember guys ha, ginamit natin dito yung synthetic division to get the remainder. Okay? We use basically the synthetic division. So the question here, sir, how are we going to use the remainder theorem for us to easily find the remainder? So what will happen is that we will use this function p of x is equal to x to the fourth power plus 7x cubed plus 5x squared. Ito yung notation natin, eh? minus 4x plus 15. What will happen here is that we will plug in, ito diba, meron tayong x plus 2. Diba, you have this one. You're getting your um, dividend in function notation. Ito naman, Yung in divisor, gawin mong x plus 2 is equal to 0. Transpose this to the other side, it will become x is equal to negative 2. This negative 2 will be the input here. It will replace the variable x. It will become p of negative 2. Then, after doing this, the hat ng variable x natin dito will be replaced by negative 2. So, it will become negative 2 
Okay, I'm replacing the variable x, negative 2 to the 4th power, plus 7, then parenthesis ulit, negative 2 cubed, okay, here, plus 5, negative 2 square, minus 4, times negative 2, plus 15. So all we need to do is to simplify this for us to get the remainder. The evaluated value of this is the, your remainder. So here, your negative, four na, your negative 2 raised to the 4th power natin is definitely positive 8. Remember guys, ha, when you are um, raising a negative number into an exponent, remember kapag ito ay negative, tapos ang inyong exponent is an even number, automatic, the answer is positive. Okay? Next naman tayo dito. We have here plus... 7, ito naman, negative 2 cube, look at the, ano, the exponent, this is an odd number, meaning the answer is negative, so yung 2 cube natin is definitely 8, ah sorry, uh, there's an error here, let me erase this one, so this is an error, negative 2 to the 4th power is positive 16, sorry, okay, because we have we have negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So this is positive 4. This is also positive 4, meaning this is 60. Okay? Here, plus 7 times negative 2, kasi your exponent is cubed. Then 2 cubed is 8. Plus 5. This, five, this negative 2 squared. Your, your exponent is even, meaning that is positive, and 2 squared is 4. Next, negative 4 times negative 2 is positive 8, plus 15. Now we need to simplify this too. We have 16 minus 56 plus 20 plus 8 plus 15. So what we need to do is to add all the positive integer first. Um, 16 plus 20 is 36 plus 8, that is 44, plus 15, that is equal to 59, and then minus 56. So here, your P of negative 2, I, I hope you can still see our writings p of negative 2 is 59 minus 6 which is equal to 3 so as you can see they are equal and still this is your remainder that's it guys here medyo tumagal tayo because um, we have a long a long kind of this one a long given polynomial but you can either use synthetic division, pero nga lang, um, this remainder theorem is faster, for me, eh, is faster than the synthetic division, or long division. So let's continue. Let's move on with item number 2 and number 3. For number 2, we have here this one. And this, this two examples, gagamitin natin yung ano, remainder theorem. We have P of X is equal to 2 x to the 4th power minus 5x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 5. And then para makuha natin yung value ng x na ilalagay natin dito, we have x minus 3 is equal to 0. Transpose this negative 3 to the other side, magiging positive yan. Your x is equal to positive 3. Okay? So what will happen here, magiging siya. P of 3. Now, your 3 here will replace all the variable x. It will become 2 times 3 to the 4th power minus 5. And this one is 3 cubed minus 3 times 3 square. Okay? Plus x. Oh, sorry. Plus 3 minus 5. So simplify. This is 2 
And in this one, 3 to the 4th power is definitely 81. Here, negative 5. Then your 3 cubed is 27 minus 3 times, this is 9. Then 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Simplify natin itong mga to. 2 times 81 is 162. Then 5 times negative 27. Negative 5 times 27. Uh, 5 times 20 is 100. 5 times 7 is 35. So this is my negative 135. Okay. Next, negative 3 times 9 is negative 27. Minus 2. So add natin itong mga to. Okay. Negative 35 plus negative 27 is 162. Okay. 162 minus 2. That is 162 minus 164. So if you're going to simplify this, your P or the remainder or the P of 3 is equal to negative 2. And this is now the remainder, guys. Here is the remainder. Here's the remainder when you divide this polynomial by this polynomial. Okay? So let's continue, guys. So let's have a separation line here. Let's continue with number 3. For number 3, we have... Kato alam naman natin to, diba? It will become x is equal to negative 1. So we have p of negative 1. Copy this. 7 times your negative 1 will replace x. Negative 1 raised to 12 minus 2 times negative 1 ulit. Raised to the third power plus 1. Remember what I have told you kanina about the sign if the exponent is even and odd. So try natin. This is 7, and then you have negative 1 raised to 12. That is definitely positive 1 only, because your exponent here is 12 or even. Here, we have negative 2. Your negative 1 raised to 3, this, this is an odd integer. So meaning this is negative 1 plus 1. Then simplify these numbers. 7 times 1 is 7, negative 2 times negative 1 is plus 2, then plus 1. Okay? So what will happen here is that we have P of negative 1 is equal to 7 plus 2 plus 1, that is equal to 10. And this is now the remainder. Remainder, eh? Remainder. When you divide 7x squared minus 2x cubed plus 1 by x plus 1. So I hope guys learned something from this video on how to get the remainder in dividing polynomials. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!